Aye tata go la kosa de mutineke. Onye wana kubaka. Maka ifu nini aine me. Wifwe mo. Onye na chulaja. Poke mo. We're lining with a very big atmospheric attitude. Altitude. And more connection. And that's where the whole situation room has become. I must say this and I will say it in a very peaceful manner. Uh, obviously, the zoo is scared of uh, Simon Eba as they have ordered their policemen to stop wearing uh, police uniform around Biafra land because now they, they already know, uh, you know, they already know that these people really really mean the Biafran they really meant it they really mean this Biafran stuff and that's where the whole stuff began from I must say it with every expectation that's we have come to a very large extent to tell ourselves the truth. That's where the struggle must begin. Yes, that's where the struggle must begin. You stay connected to what must be connected to. We throw ourselves what should be thrown at. But one thing is very important that as we sit on this very bench hoping that one day that Biafra is going to come we must at the same time tell ourselves the truth and by so doing everything will make more sense to us it doesn't matter the time it doesn't matter who said it. It doesn't matter when they said it. But what matters more is that we have stayed connected. We have stayed more focused on driving ourselves into that good material stuff. And I'll say the way I will say it and uh, nothing much can uh, be done the way it should be done. But the zoo must stay away from Biafran land because Biafran land is where we and our people must live. We and our people must stay. We and our people must grow. But that's just the truth of the matter. <clears throat> so, as we push through to in enable ourselves in that rightful order, we must again hold ourselves to that more republic zone where everyone must appreciate us and that's where the good news is whether you like it or not this is the biggest part of the theory the biggest part because the grace that we share and the grace that we carry is now exceptional <clears throat> and that is what i'll say our victory is making more sense be our friends will not sit down and watch ourselves being dismantled in any way in any form let's get it correctly let's face it feasibly and let's stay connected over 500 diesel soldiers has withdrawn from southeast the biafran land as they could not face the big threats coming <coughs> from the United Nations. The wind has been settled. And I must say it redeemably that this is the time to continue the path which is very, very necessary. If I must say it the way it should go. Over 500 have resigned, saying that they will not be used as sacrificial lamb anymore. <coughs> In I told you until the Nigerian soldiers and police begin to 
half cents. You get when they begin to have sense, that is when everything will begin to make sense. And that's just it. The moment they begin to have sense, everything will start making sense. So as long as they don't have they they are still in that part of trying to please their slave masters they will continue to scream cry and make unnecessary noise you see <clears throat> we must continue to engage ourselves properly properly wisely and more fully in control of what we do and that's all we can think about that's exactly what we can think about because everything is beginning to make sense and the sense that is making is becoming sensible so this is now the point to hold ourselves most importantly <coughs> what we must you know engage on they are either withdrawing their forces or their forces are withdrawing because obviously they cannot face peer france and they cannot face the uh, united nation you know what the United Nations is facing. And without gradual process, everything will end up making sense. I want to say something today. What I want to say may not make sense to anybody. <coughs> but <coughs> as long as the world matters, and as long as everything is making sense on a daily basis, we must stay committed, we must communicate, and we must keep assuring ourselves that we cannot give up. <clears throat> that is where our word and victory is now making sense. I must say this. So, as we <coughs> ride on to push for every benefit and the things that should make sense. Let's all understand the sincerity that everyone must push through. That's just it. Victory has been made to emerge in a victorious way. And that is why I say to myself, we cannot sit back and watch ourselves fail. It is time to take over what is ours. The United States of America has just received 12 loads of Biafran DNA. 12 loads. Remember, it's 200, but 12, 16 has been gotten, but they have received 12 loads. And it's heading to the White House for the president to sign. I can tell you and honestly tell you this. The level of speed that we are about to move from February to March is going to be well remarkable. It's only going to take some time, but one thing is very, very important. That our message is simple and clear. Give us Biafra. Very simple. There's no two ways about it.